or needs to see, fill it out with all Martes Americana, United States, Alaska, slam it in, and nobody, nobody's, keep, nobody's re-keyboarding any original data. And that happens more and more. I mean, we're going less and less handwritten labels and more and more spreadsheets that somebody built with their GPS or something. Yeah, I, I should mention that uh, with the biocode, you know, there's been a lot of uh, field tool, you know, development, and, and I know Craig's been really keen on getting something like that for Arctos, and, and you know, and we've been using, like I mentioned before, Excel spreadsheets for media uploads with, that happen to have authority mm -hmm. tables embedded in it yeah. to make it easier and faster for folks, you know, so they can have an offline tool when they're out in the field. So there's a lot of discussions about maybe, you know, um, making that easier to use or s uh, something that's sim you know s similar that could be used also for biocode and for Arctos. So John Deck and you know we've talked about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Joy's team. Essentially, Arcos has been supported by uh, uh, three, three different institutions, M MBZ, University of Alaska Museum, and uh, to a much lesser extent, the Museum of Southwestern Biology, um, and a uh, big chunk of NSF grants, uh, but n really none of them quite Arcos specific. I mean, we haven't gone head to head with Specify in a NSF competition. Um, we haven't gotten funding from NSF to operate Arcos and do nothing else, but we've gotten plenty of money for Arcos and lots of grants have um, to do other gotten things like uh, a lot of credibility from Arcos. So uh, it's been, been pretty cost effective for the, the directors to support it with some fund one uh, but money. Yeah, I mean, the bot so what we came up with basically is the cost of maintaining and operating Arctos is about, what was it, about 100 and, it's about $40,000 split between three institutions, okay, uh, which would include, you know, full-time, one full-time programmer, a half-time DBA, and the hosting costs um, at Alaska, so all yeah. that or software. At this point, it looks like. Um, Jim Hankin at Harvard will support it to so, some extent, even though they're running. So, you know, what we're talking about now, so we formed the steering committee of the directors of these major institutions that are going to discuss basically, you know, respective contributions. Um, and then, as we said, you know, we, we are, we do have current grants, like the grant I have now to digitize the audio recordings, add some money in there for, our, for Dusky and Arcos development and, and Aaron. Um, we're talking about additional grants to you know, so it's basically a combination um, of, so, you know, that that cost is to do basically fixing bugs and, you know, kind of minor tweaking of things or